All right, Kenman here, and today is the day. It is official. Scrimshaw Project Knife Number One starts now. The crowd goes wild. Jeez, he's been talking about this scrimshaw. I mean, are we actually going to do a knife today? Yeah, yeah, we are. We're going for it. Let's go. Uh, before we start, I'm not sponsored by anyone. Purchase everything at retail price. I do these videos because I love discussing knives and sharing info and ideas with others. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to comment below. This little fixed blade here. Oh, I want to start carrying some smaller fixed blades like this size. I just feel like I want to experiment with that a little bit. I'm kind of excited. Who's carrying a fixed blade around with them on a regular basis? All right, this is one of those trappers. This one is like a fake plastic, I think, is going to work for the Scrimshaw project. If you do not understand and are not caught up with the Scrimshaw as of yet, bing, the playlist is right there. Um, long story short, Scrimshaw is an old technique where you scratch a design into a material and then wipe ink over it and when you remove the excess ink the scratches are revealed these are my first tests on this little plastic spoon I looked it up found that it's a really good um, cheap thing to use some for some tests I had a few different tools of different sharpness that I put my name on there just to kind of see how they work then I did this took just did a little kind of freestyle kind of seen a little tree and a couple birds um, successful I was pretty happy with it got some ideas about how I want to do it in the future and steps and uh, success today we're gonna actually do a knife several of these little lockbacks really excited to carry some of these as well this bigger lockback this makes me want to get that nice big buck it's a fun knife they feel good I am uh, generally more of a the a newer style you know, button locks. Oh, geez, I suck in. This arc blast. One-handed opening and closing. But these old school trappers, he's got a spade blade on it. And it also has a clip point blade. Um, the old trapper, this is an old design. It's been around for quite a while. Um, hunters, farmers would use them. The spade blade, obviously, for doing a little spaying. And uh, yeah, they're fun little knives, little lockback knives, um, but they all, they've got this bone handle that we can do some scrimshaw with. And so here we go. Who is excited? What are we going to try out? Not sure how well this is going to work as far as um, <clears throat> just logistics and stuff here. Um, if I have to do a little time lapse or something, if it gets boring, what I'm going to basically try to do today is uh, a simple, I'm not going to try to go too crazy, because um, then if I learn that I do want to spend some time on a specific design or something, um, I could stop talking, do little time lapse things or whatever within the, the video. I'm getting some tape ready right here. Okay, so... I, it, it did come with the kit that I got, came with some of these pre-made, they're kind of like, it's kind of like a stencil sheet, it's not actually a transfer, but they're just little stencils, and I'm going to try one of these, uh, I think this one here is the one we're going to do today, just to try to do one that's not too difficult it won't take up too much time so since this is just like a tracing pattern you need a piece of this paper this is some transfer paper so I think we're gonna try to get that right about there so I'm kind of lining that up where I want it to be. And I'm going to take this. There is a shiny side and a dull side. 
the side with the ink on it, you basically can kind of tell. Put that down. So I'm going to kind of put that right where I want this transfer to go. And I'm going to take a little piece of this tape, catch the very edge of it, try to pin it down. But I see what I'm doing here. So I've got that transfer sheet just slightly taped on there. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the image sheet. I'm going to zoom this in for you. And if anyone has any thoughts, ideas about how this process goes, please comment below. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, how I can improve on it. Um, we'll find out as we go here, though, right? Okay, so I've got another piece of tape. I'm going to get this little fishing lure above the transfer paper. All right. I've got that taped down. Now I need to draw that. So what I they, the kit also came with this little dowel with a sharpened point. So you use that and then you're going to push and that's going to transfer that ink. Okay, I'm going to try to get this on camera and then stay on camera while I do it. Am I good here? Alright, here we go. And if I stop talking for a second, it's because I dropped my pencil on the floor. <laughs> Um, I will do my best right here, but what I'm going to do now is just kind of just trace around this and try to get an outline. Not really sure exactly how hard to push. Kind of trying to push firmly since I know this shouldn't really dent that wood at all. But I'm basically going around, I did the wing and the body, now I'm getting that head. And I'm not going to do all the details, I'm just going to get some started. So you get an idea of where I'm going to put them, because these are just guidelines that we're making right now. And we'll see in a moment what I'm talking about. All right. A little bit of the head where the fishing line gets tied. All right. So there was that. Everybody catch that? Let's see how we did. So I'm going to peel this off. Now the nice thing about this is now we can just continue to use this stencil basically over and over again so these are repeatable it's not like you've wasted it now this piece of uh, the transfer carbon or whatever this has basically been used and now we probably will not be able to use it again boom so you can see on there where I pushed and then that transferred it to that right there. And now that looks oof, not great, right? Okay, so we got to keep going. I can't stall. I have to do this. Now I'm going to get out my tools. I have a few different tools. This is a super fine one. This is the one that I ordered with a little carbide tip. This is the one I'm going to use. The one that came with the kit was not very sharp. And so we don't know, or I, I kind of, like I said, I did the test with like three of them, and this was the one I liked the best. All right, I need to get this into position. All right, so now is where the real magic happens, because once you make these marks, these are lines we're scratching in, and then those, those scratched in lines cannot be changed. All right, I gotta get my drawing. You can't see it because I'm really zoomed in, um, but I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I'm the, I have this just off the side so I can use it as a reference and I'm going to try not to have my hand in the way here and we're going to go for it. I'm going to do the body first, 
try to make a nice swoop Wow did you hear that I wonder That is a heavy scratch. I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear that on on the camera, but that is definitely quite the scratch sound when you do that. It's it's a real deal. Okay, let's see if I can get these wings. That is quite the learning curve. I'm going to leave that space. What I learned from the other one was not to do too many details the first time around. Because what we can do is we can then use our initial lines a little bit better than these lines that we've got right now. I'm going to make a few of these little swoops. Just to get the idea. Wow, that scratch is crazy. It's, I'd say if anything I'm going to need to get used to, it's the fact that when you scratch that, it is definitely, my hand in the way, it digs in pretty real. So it's like it, once the scratch starts, it's, it's kind of hard, you know, it's like you're pulling along the scratch. It's interesting. I definitely think that uh, eventually I'm going to find certain directions are better than the others. I'm going to go ahead and do the line right now. I'm going to do a swoop line. Like that. All right. Woo! Who is having fun? Oh no. I need to get up. I'm going to walk away. I gotta go into the kitchen. Forgot my paper towels. All right, I have returned from the depths. Now we're going to remove my initial trace. Okay, we can see some stuff on there. Right. Okay. All right. This is quite the project. I think what's going to happen is because some of these I'm going to try to do more details. I'll talk for a little bit and then maybe play something in the background and then uh, move it into a time lapse or I don't know. It depends. All right. I got that Q tip just a little bit wet. Now I'm getting some ink. And then what we're going to do, try to zoom this in again, is I'm going to just go over what we've done so far. And so basically you just want to rub some ink over the lines and the scratches that you made. And then let it sit for a little bit. And then we're going to wipe it off. Got this little vial of ink. I'm gonna have to go buy some more ink. It's not very much and it kind of half dried out. Um, but that was kind of, I saw that in the, there was the reviews of the kit that I got. It's the Scrimshaw Rough Rider. If you're interested, I got the Rough Rider Scrimshaw knife kit. It comes with pretty much everything you need, including this knife. It was about 20 bucks, so it's not a bad price. 
Okay, so basically now we are, I'm shaking the table. Get my hand off the table there so I don't shake it as much there. And you wipe off the excess. And now we are here. So we have part. Wow. All right. And now we continue. I'm going to zoom back in here and get back to it. All right. I'm going to do the segments of the body on the fly. Am I in here? Okay. I apologize if I cover it up. It's tough to see what I'm doing and see the camera. So it looks like all these body segments have a little curve to them. They're not perfectly symmetrical. They're kind of more like shadow lines. I'm kind of giving some curvature, some roundness to the body. All right. And then there are two distinct wings. So I'm going to go in and scratch the second wing that cuts over the top of the first one. And sorry if you can't see this. There's a line across the middle of that uh, wing. All right, now I'm going to puff out this tail. I'm going to flip it around and do it this way. I think it'll be easier to make the tufts. I just noticed that when you're going next to another scratch, because it's a scratch in the material, it actually pulled me into the scratch. Which is scary. Makes it a little difficult to stay consistent with your line when you're drawing and all of a sudden it just pulls you off into another direction. That's a little a little rough, but you know, this is something that we're going to learn. That hook is terrible. But that's the way things are. I'm going to stipple, they call it, where I'm going to basically stab dots on the head here. I'm going to concentrate them heavier on the bottom kind of to give like a shadow effect. All right, now I'm going to do the rest of these lines here. You see those chunks? Like physical pieces of bone chipping away as I do this. It's quite a weird technique. So it looks like the line needs to hook to this actual eyelet that I made. I'm going to need to get some um, high, higher magnification to do this. Feel like there's some shadows back in here. I'm gonna kind of shadow the hook a little bit. See what that does. All right. Let's add some more ink. Like I said in that first one, I learned I think that it's smart to do it in baby steps. And you can add a little more over the same crack, and it'll help darken it up a little bit more. And it helps you see the stuff you missed. Wow. Woo, stressful. What are we at? 1950? Okay. Well, 
we're getting somewhere. This is an initial technique for learning. I've actually done something. Is it pretty? Mm, no. But we're doing it. We are doing it. Okay, so these wings. So those dots I made did not, I did not push very hard, but there is a little bit, so now I'm going to push more, like if you see on the head, you see a couple little dots, but you need to really, it looks like, push, or, and that's when I can get into my other tool, it's a little bit more fine point. Excuse me. All right. Well, I'm 100% happy with my first drawing. No, but that's okay. That's what tests are about. That's how we learn and grow. If my first one was a masterpiece, I wouldn't, you know, it's, it makes it too easy. All right. Well, that's what we're looking at. 21 minutes. How much detail do I go with it or do I stop here and then I can go in and add some more details a few times um, later and then we can kind of observe how I uh, develop it some more and we can learn from it. All right, so this is what this knife looks like just as is, nice and clean, actually fairly simple design, not the worst in the world. Not the cleanest. Let's see how close I can get. So from there, I got to start practicing pulling these lines because as you're pulling and scratching, it like it's hard to pull that smooth line. Um, lesson learned. Now, does that mean I'm going to do it right the next time? Not necessarily, but you kind of learn how you have to be slow or del deliberate. And when you're making a line, you don't, you can't really sway. You really got to commit and go for it. But initial first tests, I'm fairly happy with it. Um, it is going to be a process that I'm probably going to have to get into some time lapse, and I'll stop talking, uh, or you know, I'll do like a little intro, and then stop talking, and then I can speed up the. The footage we can kind of see where we go because I could see I could spend like a half hour or more on just this and it's simple so that was what we needed to do is we needed to make that test see what we're looking at see how we can go but then you know when we get going I can start getting into some more detail work and stuff I was pretty happy with this although I noticed with this plastic it didn't scratch it was it flowed a little bit easier than the bone definitely scratched more felt, felt like it was kind of jagged and dragging along so that's what i'm gonna to have to work with you know maybe the tip that i have has got a burr on the end of it that's causing it to drag more so these are just things i got to work on practice learn figure out go from there i'm not upset with it i know several of my fishing buddies would I'd be like hey you like this you want it they'd be like sure i'll take it it's cool um i'm gonna probably do some more work on that maybe save the other side for the next video um comment below what you think about the process if you have any thoughts on how we can uh go about making a, a fun video so other than like i said doing a little time lapse kind of thing uh, but we'll go from there i'd say first scrimshaw actual knife test i mean it's a test success right what's everyone think comment below that is going to be it for today. If you enjoy what you see, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. It helps me out. I really appreciate it. More scrimshaw coming soon. More dyes, more laser marks. Uh, all types of fun. Stay sharp. I'll see you soon.